So here we are in the uh, video 63 page setup manager. And uh, if you'd like to grab your drawing, uh, which is number 63 and work along with me, that'd be great. Now the page setup manager controls all aspects of the printing of your current layout. And fortunately, you can set up many different layouts, and we're going to be covering those in a later video. But the Page Setup Manager is absolutely essential to the way in which you get your drawing onto a piece of paper or out to a PDF. So there are two ways of getting hold of the Page Setup Manager. I'll show you the first way up in the top left hand corner. And we're going to click on this menu and come down to Print. And if we hover on print, we've got an item here called Page Setup. Now I'm not going to go through Page Setup Manager here, and although it's the same thing, I'm going to come down here and show you the second place for Page Setup Manager. And I'm going to right click onto the tab and choose Page Setup Manager here. So here's Page Setup Manager. And if I click on the Modify button, this opens up my page setup for this particular layout. And uh, what I want to show you is up in the top right hand corner, we have pen assignments. And if I open up this list, you'll see that we've got a number of different presets. And you'll also, if you're keen eyed, realize that the file type is the STB file. Now you'll remember from an earlier video that I was recommending the CTB file, which you open at uh, the very first stage from your template. And that means that this is the named plot style here, as opposed to the color dependent. So CTB is color dependent and STB is named plot styles. I'll just show you what that looks like. I'm going to click onto this button and here we have the panel where you can set up your named plot styles. Now we're not covering named plot styles in this particular video because I'm going to say that the way in which I recommend you start off inside AutoCAD is with color dependent uh, plot styles. So I'm just going to cancel this and then I'm going to go through the rest of the page setup. I'm going to start on the left hand side and I'm going to say that what you want to do is you want to either pick up your printer here or if you're not going to be printing out to a printer pick up a PDF so I'm going to go for a high quality PDF then we want to pick up our paper size which is A1 and that's fine as far as I'm concerned this ISO full bleed A1 is the correct size and I've got a little picture of what that looks like. If I hover on the picture, I get some details about that. So I get both the paper size and the printable area. So the printable area is just a little bit smaller than the actual paper size, just to allow a machine to grip onto the edges of the piece of paper. And then down here, we've got an area called plot area, what to plot. And this pull down list allows you to change your mind about what you're going to be plotting. Uh, display is whatever you've got on screen. Extents is the full extents of the drawing inside paper space. Layout relies on these dimensions here. And window is a selectable area that you can choose from. I'm going to choose extents because it's the most flexible. And I'm also going to make sure center to plot is ticked so that I've chosen the full extents of my drawing right to the corners of my title block and I'm centering it on the piece of paper. And we can check to see if this is any good. We can click on this preview button and here is a preview of my drawing and you can see that it's perfectly centered on my piece of paper and if I'm happy with that, I can press escape to come back into my page setup manager. Then I'm going to have a look at the center section here, which is called plot scale. This must be set to a scale of one to one. If you've drawn 
in paper space an A1 sheet of paper and you're printing onto an A1 sheet of paper. That will then guarantee that your viewport scales are correct once you've printed. So a scale of one to one is talking about the relationship of your paper to your drawing. And then on the right hand side here, we've talked about the pen assignments and whether you've got an STB file or a CTB file. And that's dependent upon the template that you open up right at the beginning of your drawing exercise. And then down here, we've just got a few tick boxes that are quite normal. These are the standard tick boxes that uh, you would have. So plot objects and plot the line weights, the pen thicknesses. Uh, plot transparency. So if you've got transparency turned on, make sure that's ticked as well. Plot with plot styles. These are the plot styles up here, of course, and so you want those. And there's an item here that says that you could, if you wanted to, hide the paper space objects. Now, I don't want to do that, so I'm going to leave that unticked. Right at the bottom, we've got an option to say either portrait or landscape or upside down. This will depend on your printer and how you're printing it out. And once you're happy with that, you can say, OK. That saves the details to this particular layout. And in our page setup manager, we can also say close. And that's all of our details for our layout ready for printing.